It's not often I start a stream if it's some sort of glitch, eh? I always forget something. Big up, guys, eh? Welcome in. Uh, hope there's a lot of you in the chat tonight. We can have a good show because I'm a wee bit puggled. A wee bit tired, that is, in normal language. Uh, so I need a wee bit of interaction because <clears throat> I need a good sleep because I'm just about to hit four full days in a row. So I'm a wee bit tired. But we'll crack on. Right, first thing to talk about is Rhys James. Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Here we go, this is a cracker. This just happened slightly before I started, so I had to change this being a... Medical sources inside Cobham said that Rhys James is set to have a scan on his knee following training today to determine whether or not he will travel to the US. Medical sources remain optimistic. Now, I know he had a wee niggle before the end of the season. They were hoping he was going to come back, but he never made it. Uh, there was a wee sort of setback. Uh, I'm no, I can't remember what the in injury was. I know he had a hamstring back at one point. When, when did they have a hamstring? Was it in June? I think it was in June or something. There was some sort of hamstring or something. Right? But I can't really remember. But generally, I spoke about this on the stream the other day. The guy is uh, quite injury prone. Uh, the next one to talk about, I'll just talk through this until people come in the chat. Uh, Ian Matson, uh, he he was uh, his attitude's pretty good. I liked his attitude. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen what he talked about, but he's very positive. You know, Colwell's getting all this flack for the way he's talking about things. This guy is humble and what he work hard and what he come into the team. So I think he's going to win the fans over a little bit right away. And uh, he's getting a chance in pre-season, uh, and I think that's awesome because the guy's got a good attitude. Hey, big up, big up, Hannah. How you doing? How's my wa my warrior princess? You doing okay, pal? It's good to see you in here. Thanks for coming in. And Mickey Droy boy, my geezer. How you doing, pal? Good to see you in. I just I just saw your message a wee minute ago. Uh, it was like six hours ago, but I missed it. Eh? Sorry about that, pal. But I have replied back to you now. But I'll just say, I'll just say to you, Mickey Droy boy, me and Hannah's fine, and we're here. Uh, what 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 doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But sometimes I make these phrases up, eh? What do you think? <laughs> so the Matson boy, right, right. And the next one, the, ne the next cracker is this boy here, okay? Captain America, yay! Well, he's away. It's a bit of a shame it never worked out, but. I think the way he talks off the park and all that is sort of no turn me against him, but I don't like it. So I'm glad to see the back of this guy. He's just not strong enough uh, to take the Premier League. And I'm hoping that the for his sake, at least a, a league where he can settle in a bit more, you know, and he, he actually shows his quality there. You might find he goes there and he really balls out. But, uh, you know, it's, it's up to him now. He's did a lot of talking. He needs to start doing it on the park, eh? So that's great. Uh, next one to talk about is Casado. Again, <laughs> there was a fake story earlier on that Liverpool were in for him. <clears throat> but to be honest, that might be a story that does happen because they've just, I think, uh, Saudi Arabia's came in for Jordan Henderson. So Jordan Henderson's gone. So they might be in the lookout for a midfielder. So we'll see how that goes. I think there might be some legs on this story and Liverpool might come in. But I don't think Liverpool are going to pay the money that we are prepared to pay. So I'm still calm about it. But obviously if other teams come in, it's not going to be good. Sup, Goddy Frog, sup. <laughs> How's my fellow Scotsman? Good to see you in here, pal. Big up, big up. Uh, Mickey Droy, boy, don't, let, don't tell me Weetabix legs is fucking injured again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's just a scan, but uh, you don't have a scan unless there's something there. Eh? there uh, the scan could be to make sure there's nothing there, or it could be to see the extent of the injury. So we'll just wait and see what happens there, guys, what do you think? <laughs> but I, I've not got much hope that the guy isn't injured, to be honest. Uh, this is what happens. They come back after a break, and they start training again, and things can break down a little bit, so it's not ideal. Uh, Chelsea till I die, good, good to see you in here pal, uh, I did pick up you in other chats, I've been on uh, Chelsea's perspective today, 
Uh, it was on coaches' shows, watching me going for a while. I went on there, really enjoyed it. A little bit nervous as I am, because I, I might seem quite confident in, in my own show uh, to a certain fashion. But uh, when I go on other shows, I'm a bit a bit more sheepish, you know. I'm a bit, well, I don't know how to describe it, but I'm more nervous. And you can hear it in my voice and stuff like that, you know. So I uh, And then I went on Lewis's chat for a little while, uh, the early stages of it, until everybody came in. But I said to Lewis that I had things to do. And as soon as 10 came in, I was going to jump off. So as soon as we get 10 sort of panel members, I, ju I jumped off uh, and, went and went and did what I had to do. I had a few tasks today, today, a couple of errands to do. So, And I've just made the dinner. We had some nice fillet steaks and all that. So that's lovely. A uh, bit of vegetables, a bit of boiled potatoes, you know, nice healthy food. That's what you like, eh? Uh, Chelsea, Chelsea till I die said big up guys uh, Chelsea till I die said Reese isn't injured he's just getting a scan I know I said that pal <laughs> I did I did I do explain my points a little bit uh, he's he's getting there he's just going for a scan and it's obviously when you fly it can flare things up so they have to make sure there's no damage before they fly because I think if you fly it, it's not a good thing for injuries but I'm not a doctor but I think that's what it is uh, we are big legs, lol. Uh, you're right, Goddy Frogs. Eh, I, I don't, I do like Reese, but I don't think I stand seeing a long term thing with him always being injured. Yeah, that that that's always been the concern for a lot of people. When he's on top of his game, everybody thinks he's the best right back in the world. The problem is he's injured a lot, uh, and we've sort of criticised other players in the past. I just hope that Reese does something to try and alleviate these problems, uh, whether he slims his cell down. Remember Lukaku slimmed his cell down when he was at Inter and he was a lot better player and he got less injuries. As soon as they put the weight on again, the muscle or fat, whatever it is, everybody thinks it's fat, but it's probably too much muscle. He gets injured again and he, he constantly gets injured. Um, if you look at Reese and his sister, they are quite well-made people you know they're muscled and they're stocky and stuff like that so maybe he has to keep his cell a bit on the light side to be able to stay fit so it, that's something that Reese has to work on guys because we need them on the park because if we haven't got our best players on the park then we're struggling and that's what happened last year uh, I said in previous streams a lot of these uh, players weren't weren't available last year and we really need our best players there yeah, can't he be in a big one you know uh, Goddy Frog says, understand Aston Villa official bid for Musa Diaby was 35 million plus add-ons. This is a real fee. Ah. Uh, have we been linked with him, Godov? I don't I don't get the relevance. Uh, do you think that's the sort of deal we should have went in and got for that player? Uh, Goddy Frogs is saying AFC Bayer Leverkusen rejected but told the negotiations are still on go. Deal on. Diaby wants to move. He already said yes to Villa and Leverkusen are aware of it. Oh, that's good. Uh, Mickey Dry Boy, he's a proper unit of a man which also doesn't help. That's it. Uh, the power's a good thing because it helps you play the way you are. You've seen him, he's press resistant. Is that he's so strong. The downside is it's staying fit. And the thing is, he's quite young. He needs to sort this out or he's never going to be playing when he's 28, 29. He's just going to be injured all the time. So he's one of the guys that needs to come up with some sort of plan to keep himself fit. You've had players in the past that have had these issues and they've had to sort of do something to sort it out. Uh, for that price, yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, God of. Uh, it's a good player. And the thing is, when Chelsea go in for players, they want 80 million, 100 million. But if other teams go in, they get them 30, 40. It's annoying, eh? Fax my amphibian friend. <laughs> is, is a frog amphibious? I, I suppose it is. I, I, okay, I get what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, next one. Let's talk about this one. Uh, Chelsea are interested in Ivan Tony. I've said f for the last six months or so. Hi, Oba One. How you did, pal? Oh, what happened? He crashed out. That was over one there, but he crashed out. Just try and come on again, pal. I never kicked you off. You just came in and went out. Uh, I'll keep talking until he appears. Right, Ivan Tony, yeah, I like this boy. I think he's exactly the player we need. And and I don't think we'll get him cheap. A lot of people think we'll get him cheap. But I think we'll have to pay a fortune for him, like everything else. 
But the thing is, there's a bit of baggage comes with this guy anyway. And uh, the, the, there's the betting thing and all that. So there's a bit of carry on with this boy. And I don't know if we're going to touch him or not. We'll find out. Oh, here's a cat. Happy days. Uh, Mickey Droy's boy saying, I'll take Tony. Yeah, you're right, pal. I'd take him as well. Uh, I'm not really bothered about the betting thing. I just, it's just the stink with the steak thing. I think there is fans, uh, the fans that moaned about the steak being our sponsor because they're a betting company. I think they're going to moan about this as well. And the last thing you need is carry on when you when a player's come and try to settle in. You know, you're moaning about he always he used to bet and all this. Why are we buying this player? So it's a bit of carry on. Yeah, uh, Goddy Frog saying English tax, the bad publicity, I'd rather not. Yeah, that's the thing though. This is just a story. Uh, and it'll probably never happen. I think the betting thing will turn us off. And because of the carry-on mistake, it's just going to be a no-no. But uh, it's the type of player I would like. But it's the type of player we're not going to get. And we can get Bet365 as our shirt sponsor. Aye, that, that's the thing as well. I heard somebody saying that uh, the league had banned betting companies and stuff like that. That isn't factually correct. They've, they've, passed, they've passed some sort of rule but it's not until 2026 that it comes in. So apparently there's like four or five uh, clubs in the Premier League have got betting on their shirts. So we could have we could have went with this, uh, I think it was 50 million. We could have went with stake, but obviously when the fans kicked off, it was some sort of Chelsea fan. Uh, I don't know who that, I can't remember who it is. Uh, Chelsea, whatever, they, they kicked off about it, uh, and so we didn't go with it. So it's a bit annoying, like, because now we've not got a sponsor. Eh, uh, lol. <laughs> uh, Metal Face Doom, yes, yeah, live, pal. I, I know I put out a lot of uh, stuff, but why why I do that, guys, is I have to get the algorithm back up to speed because, and you know, I chucked it for a month or so, so the algorithm was terrible. I've got like 519 subscribers now, but I think only about 150, maybe 200 have found me again. And I've, I've been speaking to people, like I was speaking to somebody in Johnny's chat, I think it was uh, Tony Tiger. He didn't even know I was back. So that's what I'm saying. People haven't found me yet. So it's what it is. I have to push it a little bit as much as I can. So what I do is uh, I, I put all the videos, I break them up into 20 minute ones and put them up. And uh, YouTube thinks it's all new sort of new stuff, but it's not really, it's just the same stuff sent out. So uh, it's a way of getting around it a little bit. Yeah, so we're live, yeah. Well, I'm half, I'm half D-Day, I'm quite old, eh? <laughs> Big up, Doom. Uh, Mickey Droy boy saying, sup, Doom, and yes. Uh, metal, metal face, Doom, peace and blessings, everyone. I've noticed you do that little greeting, mate. It's, it's really nice, I like it, pal. Uh, I know what you do, hence why I asked. <laughs> <laughs> Smash the likes and subscribe. You, I Hannah's my wee pal. Aye, thanks very much, Hannah. Eh? Uh, we'll go to Mitchy Boy Team of the Week because there's quite a few years in. So we'll, we'll knock this uh, waffle. Uh, it's Ivan Tony. We're up to. We'll come back to that. But what we'll do is we'll go back to Mitchy Team of the Week. And I'm getting a wee bit better at this, guys. I've got a way to go, but it's all getting a little bit slicker. So here's the team, right? I've no changed it, right? I had a lot on. Uh, Hannah knows. Me and Hannah's had a lot of conversations and stuff like that. There's been a lot to, to go through and stuff. So I've been a busy boy last night and this morning. Uh, but it's what it is. Uh, it's too, it's cut my time back a little bit. Anyway, let's go to the team. Mickey Droy, boy, you're still the manager, buddy. Logic and goals. Kumba right back. You can see Kumba's got the Reese James. So Kumba, Kumba's sitting there with an E injury at the moment. <laughs> You've got CNF, CWP, he's a moderator on Lucy's channel, big up pal. You've got Auntie Nicoin Owens, big up pal, I've not seen you for a while, hope you come on tonight. You've got Battersea Chelsea, he's a good guy as well. You've got Bobby Smokey Signals, he's on a Twitter space now, so I don't think I'll be seeing him in. You've got British Patriot, he's always on Johnny's uh, chat, good guy. And you've got Hannah, Queen Hannah, uh, Warrior Princess, you've got her there. Uh, Goddy Frog's up in the right and you've got Indefinite in the left and you've got Doom up front with that fantastic badge that I love. So Doom's a star boy, eh? Well done, Doom. Aye, so we'll go back to Ivan Tony. Now, what do you guys think? We, we, I don't think, even if we wanted Tony, I don't think we're going to get him anyway. So I don't think it's anything to worry about. 
uh, and it's something that's not really worth talking about. I need to get my place back. Two seconds, guys. Right, Tony. So we'll move by the Tony. It's just a little story, and like everything else, a bit of waffle. Now, this is the next one. The Liverpool fans really think they're going to get this guy. They think that Liverpool are going to come in and we're going to sell him. And they think they're going to get him for like 40 million or something. What do you guys think we're going to ask for him? Because there is a good chance we're going to sell him, right? There's no hurry because he's got a three-year contract. But if you look at the way he's reaction, and I think he knows he's no settled yet. So he wants assurances he's going to get first-team football. I'm not saying first pick, but I think he wants to be part of the first team squad, which is a fair thing for a young boy who wants to play football. Okay, so if he goes to Liverpool, he could be a superstar. But I want to keep him, and hopefully he ends up being one or two centre backs. Certainly get him in the team, rotate him a little bit, and see next season, he's the first pick. But I don't think he's first pick this year. I think he had half a season, he was half a season injured. In Brighton, he is a great player, but I think this boy needs some time. And I would like to see him have, him have more of the Matson attitude, through the attitude I'm seeing at the moment, or, or what we perceive as the attitude at the moment. A lot of people have got a lot to say about this young boy, but I think we need to cut him a bit of slack. Hey, there's indefinite eye. That's a cracker, mate. Uh, so I'll go to the chat because I'm aware that the chat's busy the night, guys. Uh, <laughs> Goddy Frog says my knees are sore. I right? will not go into that, buddy. <laughs> uh, ZH like yeah. Uh, Z I think I think ZH will be definitely getting offloaded, guys. Uh, it's just a matter of time. Oh no, I'm not reading that out. <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I was going with my sort of in your end there, but uh, Metal Face has just sort of said it out loud. Uh, they are also the story on Man City dropping interest on Josco to go for Levi. That's the thing, Josco, uh, Guardiol, I, I've not really said that, I've said it in my head, but I've never really said it. Guardiol, he's going to cost a fortune. I think Levi Caldwell would be a lot better, you know, a cheaper alternative, and he's got such a ceiling. I think this boy could be a superstar. I hope he stays at Chelsea, but there is a good chance that a team comes in and takes him off us. <laughs> Used to having a bit of banter. You set yourself up for that one, bro. <laughs> maybe maybe no such a good uh, topic with what happened last night, guys, in Johnny's chat, you know, but uh, a wee bit of homophobia in there. But anyway, we'll go with it. I hope Hannah isn't uh, But I'm sure she's okay with it. Uh, you guys are just saying in fun. Uh, Schofield like I, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> what I? Metal Face Doom uh, says Levi will want to go. Yeah, it, there is a good chance that this guy will go, but we have to. <laughs> Schofield is a proper wrong and yeah. Uh, my wife watches that every morning. I've never watched it. You know that program in the morning that everybody watches. Never watched it. I'd rather poke my eyes out with a sharp t stick. To be honest, eh? it's murder. Right, next one, Obama Yang. Obama Yang is open to go to Saudi again. I think that's because he's starting to realise that nobody's interested in him. I think he's about 34 year old. He hardly played last year. He's on big massive wages, right? Uh, and although Chelsea have still got to pay his wages for at least, I think it's another year, he won't get any suitors, especially in Europe. The statement was, or what was reported was, he wanted to stay in Europe. Europe can't afford them. And nobody's going to come in for him in the Premier League, I don't think, because he's not suited to the Premier League anymore. I think he's just a little bit too old. So Saudi is probably his only place to go. So I just hope we offload him soon. This is another one of the fairy stories in the last few days. Donnarumma. People were starting to dream of getting Donnarumma in, in our, our team and uh, Kepa going the other way. It's no happening. It looks like PSG are happy to keep him as a goalkeeper. I don't think he is that fantastic with his feet, but he makes up with, with other things. Shot stopping, you know, claiming balls, he's powerful, things like that. But the thing that Kepa has got is he's really good with his feet. 